I'm Eddie, and welcome to Disney's California Adventure Park, where the biggest expansion in its history is now underway. I'm such a big fan of this place that my friends here at the Disneyland Resort are letting me behind the scenes to give you all the latest info. Right now, I'm standing in Sunshine Plaza. Take a good look, because this is all gonna change. Oh, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Well, this was a parking lot for guests until a few months ago. And by the time Disney Imagineers are finished with it, it's still gonna be a place for cars. But they'll be the cars from the Pixar Animation Studios film in a brand new land, Cars Land. Oh yeah, this is gonna be big. The expansion has already given us some great new attractions and entertainment. Toy Story Mania, for example, one of my personal favorites and a big hit with guests since the day it opened. The updated Mickey's Fun Wheel with the classic Mickey Mouse look. And the new games of the Boardwalk in Paradise Pier. Okay, so let's break it down, because there's a lot of great stuff coming your way. Behind the construction walls, there's a whole new world of family entertainment being built. The spectacular nighttime show that's going to be in the lagoon at Paradise Pier, called The World of Color, it takes you through a journey from the Walt Disney's earliest works all the way through to the films we're making now. This show's gonna be gigantic. It's one of the biggest shows we've ever produced. The actual size of the fountain is bigger than a football field. It's just gonna take your breath away when you see it. The classic swings ride is becoming a cool new attraction, Silly Symphony Swings. We're gonna create this wonderful jewel of a ride, and when I say jewel, what I mean is we're taking Mickey's band concert and, and we're overlaying that onto the ride. Based on the Disney animated feature, The Little Mermaid, this attraction takes the phrase immersive ride to a whole new level. We're gonna get to go under the sea, really. You're gonna be able to sing along. You're gonna be able to see Ariel, Ursula, Flounder, Sebastian, all the characters up close. This will be a completely immersive experience never done before. You know, one of the great things about Disney's theme parks is that when you turn a corner, you are transported to another place at another time. And the new entrance to Disney's California Adventure is gonna do just that. I think every Imagineer has tried to imagine what it was like for Walt when he arrived in Los Angeles. And for the first time, we're now given the opportunity to create that moment and offer that to our guests. The red car trolley, the period shops and restaurants, and the replica of the Carthay Circle Theater where Walt Disney debuted Snow White in 1937 will take us on an amazing journey. And the icing on the cake of this expansion, two words, Cars Land. The rides in Cars Land are so exciting, they're fantastic. The e-ticket ride of the land is Radiator Springs Racers. It's unbelievable, wait till you see this. And not to worry, while they're doing all this construction, nearly all of your favorite classic attractions will still be open for fun and excitement. What has been true for Disneyland Park all these years is true for Disney's California Adventure Park. They'll never be finished bringing us the best in immersive family entertainment. Over the next few months, I'm gonna keep you in the loop with regular updates. This is the first in a series. They're just getting started, so I'm just getting started. We'll see you next time. Eddie here again with more insider news about all the exciting changes currently underway at Disney California Adventure. And let me tell you, things are really kicking into high gear around here for the summer of 2010. The new nighttime water spectacular World of Color is now open and is an amazing experience. On the world's biggest water projection screen, Disney has found a whole new way to tell some favorite Disney stories. Also now open is Silly Symphony Swings, a cool new ride that features one of Walt Disney's first cartoons, Mickey's Band Concert. There's so much happening at the summer long party here that it's hard to know where to start. Here in Sunshine Plaza and down Hollywood Boulevard, it's fun for the whole family, a nightly dance party with DJs, interactive games, food carts, and a whole lot more. It'll be the perfect place to hang out either before or after you check out World of Color. And there's a new guy in town, or should I say a new toy in town this summer. Lots of Huggin' Bear from Toy Story 3 has joined the Pixar Play Parade. And some of your favorite Toy Story 3 characters are also a big part of a new game within a game in Toy Story Mania. 
As you probably know by now, the summer of 2010 is just the beginning of the huge changes coming to Disney California Adventure. To check out the latest on The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure, and all the other great attractions coming online in the next few years, it's always a good idea to make a stop at the Blue Sky Cellar. The summer of 2010 at Disney California Adventure is gonna be hot and the folks at Disney have come up with new ways for their guests to make the most of it. Check out the Fast Pass and dining packages for some awesome World of Color viewing opportunities. And because there's so much to do here, it's a really good idea to get here early so you can enjoy a full day of fun. Right now is a terrific time to visit, to celebrate summer, and to see the transformation of Disney California Adventure taking place right in front of you. There's more exciting news every day, and I'll be here to bring it to you. So see you next time, or better yet, in the park. Eddie here again, and today I'm joined by Mary Niven, Vice President of Disney California Adventure. Thanks for taking the time to show us around today. Oh, my pleasure, Eddie. You know, one of the best parts of my job is getting out in the park with a guest, like yourself. In fact, being able to see that guest experience firsthand really helps us understand how to make the magic even better. Now, you're in the middle of this big expansion at Disney California Adventure. How's it going? It's such an exciting time here at the resort. We recently opened our new nighttime water spectacular, World of Color. And on the very same day, we debuted our classic swing ride, Silly Symphony Swings. It's very cool you got going on here. It's like you're building a theme park and operating one at the same time. <laughs> exactly. While we're adding all these wonderful new attractions, our guests' favorite attractions are still open. OK, so when you have a chance to visit the park with friends and family during the expansion, what are, say, your top five favorite things to do? Well, we were actually just on one. California screaming. I mean, who doesn't love roller coasters? In fact, when I have guests with teenagers, that's one of the first places I head to. So here we are in front of your number two choice. Toy Story Midway Mania, which has proven to be one of our most popular attractions because it has all the things that we do so well. Great storytelling told by compelling, and in this case, funny characters. Walt Disney loved to create memorable, immersive experiences that put guests right in the middle of the action. So I never get tired of riding Toy Story Midway Mania, and I love watching the guests play it for the first time. And number three? Well, no trip to Disney California Adventure is complete without seeing World of Color. The reviews and guest reaction to World of Color have been phenomenal. It's a perfect blend of cutting edge technology on a grand scale and the power of Disney storytelling. So I'm guessing that seeing World of Color is mandatory for your friends and family. It's definitely on my list. Well, that was easy. We got three right away. Now the fourth on your list is? Soaring over California. Even though I know how we create the magic, I still feel like I'm actually flying over California when I ride it. To me, it's a must-see attraction. One of the truly special experiences in our theme parks, especially for kids, is the opportunity to meet and interact with their favorite Disney and Pixar characters. Number five on Mary's list. It's great to see guests of all ages having fun talking to their favorite character, something I always make time for when I bring guests to the park. So, dude, you like totally run this place? No, no, Mary does, which means she's your boss. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, well, I thought you looked familiar. All right, Mary, I know we said top five, and you named your five, but can we add one more thing? Sure, it's always hard to pick, so go on. Okay, one of my favorite things to be here at the park mm -hmm. is hungry. <laughs> Definitely me too. You know, we have some great dining options here in the park, and with the expansion, it's only gonna get better, like the recent changes we made here at the Wine Country Tutoria. This is a great place to relax, Enjoy foods inspired by the wine country and sample wines from around the world. Mary, thanks for taking the time to tell us about your top five, well, really six, favorite things to do here at Disney California Adventure. Well, you're welcome, Eddie. You know, there's more exciting things happening here at Disney California Adventure every day. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Thanks again, Mary, and we'll see you next time. I look forward to it. The entrance to Disney California Adventure will soon be completely transformed taking us back to a time when a young Walt Disney first arrived in California to pursue his dreams. The current expansion started in the summer of 2008 with the opening of Toy Story Mania. Right now is a great time to visit. 
Not only do you get to see the transformation of Disney California Adventure Park taking place right in front of you, you can do that all while experiencing your favorite attractions and entertainment. There's more exciting news every day, and I'll be here to bring it to you. So we'll see you next time, or better yet, in the park. I'm Steve Davison and we're here at World of Color. As you can see behind me, our world is filled with actors. They're not live people, but we're going to bring them to life like live people. What's interesting about the uh, World of Color Fountain Show is that um, it's a little bit like Fantasmic on some level because we're projecting animation onto water screens, but this is um, taken to a whole new level. It's going to not only be animation projected on enormous water screens, but fountains and lights and incredible sound and fire. We're taking fire and we're going to dramatically move it and bring it to life in ways no one has ever, ever seen before. We're also going to take color, pure color, pure light, and use it to tell stories too. We're pulling animation elements from a variety of films that span 80 years of Walt Disney animation history. But we're also creating new animation specifically for the show. An example of that is uh, some Tinkerbell animation that we're doing for part of the opening. The show is big, bigger than a football field. And we're gonna take fountains, Disney music, and Disney movies, and we're gonna mix them all together and take you through the wonderful worlds of color. And it's gonna be a sight like no one's ever seen before. We're really pushing to create magic. Marvel. 